guys welcome back to another cheat code video hopefully you've been enjoying the recent content on it i've definitely been having a lot of fun filming it now if you're new here at first glance you might think we haven't done much to it and you're kind of right kind of not truck i feel has already come a long way but there is one thing that we haven't done that most people do like day one or two of ownership of their new vehicle because it makes it look so much better and feel so much more comfortable. So we're gonna get that knocked out today. But first, I wanna address our exhaust that we um, made. So here's our current exhaust setup that we're working with. Honestly, I'm just happy it hasn't fallen off. But if you take a look, the pipe basically comes to the end of that tip. So it's not helping us with the sound probably at all. It's just there looking better, which I do like the way that it looks. But I think we can actually help with our sound by throwing that bad boy on right there. That is a three to five inch exhaust tip. I didn't put it on there originally because I didn't want it hanging down real low. But after driving the truck for a couple days, uh, I really don't notice this one sticking down at all. So let's try putting a little bit bigger one on there. It definitely should help with the depth and the echoing, the billowing effect of having a proper exhaust tip on here. So let's go ahead and toss it on there. See if it actually has any effect at all on the sound. Nothing ever seems to go completely smooth, so I ended up having to take the whole piece off because the tip was stuck on there. I just got done spending like 10 minutes beating it off. Hey, pause. No ditty. All right. Well, there she is, dude. Looking absolutely killer. Got the uh, middle of the truck diesel dump going on. If you think I'm being serious, you obviously haven't been watching videos long enough because that looks horrible. Oh, my gosh. That is... Uh, that is hilarious looking, but we're gonna leave it on there because I'm curious to see how it sounds. It's got a pretty good little tone to it right here, I ain't gonna lie. Let's go ahead, hit the road, check it out. Dude, look at this, 250, flared out. This thing looks crazy, what the world? That looks wild. Focus. Oh, you piece of junk. Anyways, yeah. That was weird. Baja style F2. Definitely unique. Well, if you hadn't guessed it by now, we are at the tent shop because this might be the worst case of fish bowling I have ever seen. There is not a lick of tent on any glass on this entire truck, even the back. I mean, none. It is completely see through. That's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. So up here at Tent Pro, as always, gonna go ahead and get us probably the Popo Special. I'll tell you more about that if I decide to go with that. I know I wanna go super dark, but uh, I'm gonna be driving this truck a lot. I don't know if it's worth it. tell y'all what there is just something so nice about getting that fresh window tent on here this is the popo special so you got five percent brow legal side tent five percent on the back glass so it darkens it up super good especially with this black interior where you really can't see in that good but since i am going to be driving this thing all over the place uh i ain't gonna worry about getting pulled over because if i do get pulled over i got a legal tent dude there really might not be a better feeling than that first drive after you get the windows tinted. My gosh, it feels so much more at home and having the big, nice, deep brow, so much more aggressive feeling. I'm stoked, dude. This thing, we should, honestly, we should have got one to tent day one, but 
I waited, it did a couple more things. Dang, Larry, you about just got cream, son. When they say, dude, it's a brand new truck, leave it stock for a little while. A hundred percent no. F550 on military tires. Bro, this thing is humongous. Those things are huge. We here at the DMV. Well, thankfully we are done, but boys, I tell you what, it never ends. 260 bucks in the tent shop, 326 to get my tag. Golly, man, brutal. Oh, not the mega cab full of KTMs. I hear you, brother. All right guys, well here she is rocking the new tent and it looks so much better. I never get over just how much it changes the whole demeanor of the truck, whether you're inside driving or looking at it from the outside. But if it was up to me boys, I'd have 5% on everything. I'd have 5% windshield, <laughs> but it's just not worth it. When you wanna drive and, and you're in my area or you just have my luck when it comes to window tent, you gotta do what you gotta do. So 5% brow, legal on the side, which is 32, 35, I don't even know. And then 5% on the back. So paired with the dark interior and the 5% on the back, it really does darken the legal tint up. So unless you're looking at it directly from the side, it looks much darker than the legal limit. So looks better or it looks good. And then if you do get pulled over, you can let them check it and it's legal. So you're in the clear. Aside from that 0.1 or 0.01% of officers that might give me a ticket for the brow, which would just blow my mind. If you're watching this video and you're gonna do that, please don't, just come on, let me live a little. I'm trying my best, <laughs> but dude, it looks so much better with tent. This has gotta be the only truck I've ever gotten that didn't have any factory shading or tent. I feel like Shorty, they all, I've never seen one after I noticed it that the back glass was completely clear obviously it looks so much better now and yes we did get our custom plate didn't get a barber's tag because it is seven you can only have i think six on a barber's but if you didn't know that i was calling this cheat code would you would you be able to tell i feel like that's pretty self-explanatory right there so i'm glad that we were able to get that i just got it on a standard white god bless america tag should look nice and clean so yeah i'm tickled with it i ended up taking the tip off because it was obnoxious as crap looking. And uh, instead of putting the other one back on, I just left it off. So we just have the little turn down pipe. Sorry if the birds are getting on y'all's nerves. They are just lighting it up. But uh, yeah, I think it looks clean. I mean, you really don't see it unless we scoot way back here. And then you can just barely see it poking down. Sounds good, looks good. Still waiting on my exhaust tip to come in. I'm about to jump ship on it and go a different route because I'm so annoyed at it taking over two weeks for an exhaust tip to get shipped. Once again, another video. Uh, I need my fender liners to come in. It's driving me nuts. I'm about to take a spray can to it. It looks a little butt high. I'm waiting for the fender liners to see if that's what's throwing it off or if it is. Like just, you know, certain trucks, body lines make the back look higher even if they're technically not. So we'll see but we're obviously gonna lower this truck. I actually bought the lowering kit. I got it in before I even got the truck, but I figured since everybody lowers these regular cab short beds, we would go leveled for a bit, give a little bit of a, a different experience than most, but we ain't got too much more I wanna do before I wanna go ahead and drop it and start working on performance, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little step-by-step, step. I'm enjoying it though. Whipple has still not come out with their um, Gen 6, I think, Whipple Supercharger and Tune. It is out for the Mustangs already, but not for the truck. So we're just holding out on that until it becomes available. And then hopefully when it's available, I got the funds to jump on it. Because uh, whether this thing is leveled or lowered, I'm ready for that Whipple. I'm ready to experience my first ever boosted vehicle. Now I have had much faster vehicles than this. Uh, I had a heads cam full exhaust C6 Z06, which was blistering fast, uh, but I've never had boost and I am ready for it because my dad's had several supercharged cars and uh, they've been awesome. So if this is anything remotely like a Hellcat or a supercharged Mustang, I know it's obviously not gonna be, you know, side by side direct comparison, but at least for maybe eighth mile racing, it should be pretty freaking 
gnarly four-wheel drive launches. I'm stoked for it. So I'm going to quit rambling. Hopefully y'all did enjoy. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Leave a dislike if you did not. Subscribe if you're new. Ring that bell notification. Check out all the links in the description. And with that said, I will see y'all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.